Welcome to today's day trading recap. Today's Friday, January 8th. Hope everybody had a good week of trading. Uh, ended the week on a positive note, plus 874 on the day. So let's go over the day, uh, today's trades, and then I'll do a little recap of the week. So uh, today, three for three on our mighty 90s. Uh, nice winner and beyond for 514, Piton 476, and Zoom for 360. Uh, ended up taking a pairs trade. Uh, today, first one this week, ended up being a loser right at $300 in the NASDAQ versus Dow. And then uh, on the runner front, had two trades, both were small losers. Microsoft was a late morning one, minus 96, and then Facebook for minus 80. Let me t show you these trades. We'll go back and recap the week. Uh, starting with, let's start with the winners. Let's start with our mighty 90 and beyond. So if we check out beyond here, had this... Uh, had this uh, push up, initial flush, and then it bounced up with a nice volume spike up into this pivot, got short right here, and caught this ride all the way down. We ended up getting out of our last contract right at the bottom of this move, so nice trade and beyond. Uh, Piton for plus 476. We were watching this, patient, patient. Even though we had this volume spike here, we didn't get short. We waited, waited, waited. Uh, and Oh, actually, no, I took a little piece here, and then on this volume spike, I added. That's what, that's what it was. So uh, got short here and then here and caught this entire move down here and got out at the bottom on that one as well for plus 476. In Zoom, caught a mighty 90 for 360. Uh, let's see, our Zoom one was, oh, yeah, right here. We got short right here and caught this move down for a nice winner. Uh, on the runners, so Facebook, I want to explain Facebook. Facebook uh, had this initial push lower and just this little bounce. Now we had a little bit of a volume pop on this. So I talked about this as my entry. You know, could, you could have considered this a mighty 90, but I said from the outset I was going to manage it like a runner. Uh, so it came down. We got out of half. Uh, and then it just kind of chopped around. We had a really nice profit right here. I was looking to potentially get out of some more. If it just pushed a little bit lower, it did not. Chop, chop, chop. And then boom, exploded. So we, we went ahead and just cut out at that point, took a small loss of just 80 bucks on the trade. We were up, we were up several hundred dollars. We were up, about, we were up over $1,300 at one point in the day, but ended up plus 874. So not too shabby. Uh, and we pushed into the green for the week. So let's go over the week. Uh, Mighty 90s ended up, let's see, minus 507 for the week. We took 15 trades, 73.3% win rate. Uh, just the one runner that I mentioned today. And then on the runners, uh, booked 964 on 10 trades, just a 40% win rate, but win rate is pretty irrelevant on the runner strategy because we're cutting losses pretty quick. So had a small loss Monday, big win Tuesday, uh, lose lost on Wednesday, nice win on Thursday, and then small loss today. So if we look at our summary totals, uh, you can see we booked $157 for the week. So. Not much, but still in the green. You can see on the runners, uh, on the mighty 90s, we're up a little over 6,500 since we started tracking back in at the end of August, August 31st. Uh, total profit, a little over 6,500 on the mighty 90, plus 323 on the pairs. Haven't done much. This was, I mean, we've literally done one, two, three, four, five pairs trades since the end of November. So just haven't been doing any, just haven't really been comfortable with the opportunities presented. And then the runners, you know, continue to do well, over 29,000 on the runners for total profit since then, uh, almost 36,000. So continuing to do well. Uh, I was hoping for a little bit more of a bounce back after yesterday's red week, but green nonetheless. So we'll be streaming live all next week in the trade room. So hope to see you there. If you guys have any questions, let me know.